guys have your ball of bands, grab them. If you don't want to use them, you so don't have to. Um, but if you weren't here just a minute ago, I forgot mine at my apartment. So I have ball of FOMO right now. Um, okay, let's get started. Let's start with a roll down to start, just nice and warm. We're gonna get ourselves warmed up here. So feet, just let them be parallel, hip distance, nothing crazy. Go ahead and just shrug your shoulders down and back. Let your chest be nice and open. Let's pick up all 10 toes and really methodically place them down. So we're gonna use our toes a lot today. So really let them be heavy into the mat. Shoulders down and back. First one, just let your arms be heavy by your side. On that exhale, take the chin forward and just roll yourself down. Just do whatever feels good here. Don't even think about it. Maybe bend the knees a little bit. And then big inhale, exhale, roll it on up. Just letting everything sequentially come up. We'll add the arms now. Reaching those arms up, squeeze the fingertips together. Big inhale, and then exhale, round and roll yourself on down. Maybe bending those knees again. Big inhale and then exhale. Reach through the fingertips. Roll yourself on and up. Open out. Let's do that one more time. Inhale up. Stomach in. Exhale. Reach forward and down. Belly pulls in. Lift the ribs up towards the ceiling. Roll yourself all the way back up. Okay. I'm going to face you guys. We're going to just warm up here. Feel like you're jumping rope. And again, if you have your ball of bands or if you have hand weights, now would be a good time to maybe wrap them around your wrists, get your shoulders to fire up. And then I like to jump from side to side. If it feels good for you though, maybe just jump straight up and down. I can't even tell you guys how sore I've been the past couple days. I don't know what it is, something about teaching and talking at the same time. Holy shit, I've been like sore in the most ridiculous places. Okay, personal problem, but you know what? You're probably sore too. Let's be here just about 10 more seconds. Maybe pick up the face, go a little, little faster. Maybe get a little higher. Good, we're breathing. Let's go five. Similar to what we did on Tuesday, but a little different in our first little warm up. Let's go three. Let's go two. The last one, down you go. Walk just about center-ish of your mat alternating our lunges here. So start with that left foot, step it forward, right hand comes down, and then right foot down, left hand down. So just alternate. Whatever foot is forward, the opposite hand comes inside of the knee. And you're just breathing, just breathing. And then as you go down, really lift your chest away from your thigh. So you can go as slow or as fast as you want here. You're definitely gonna start to pick up your breath and your cardio. Good, but you can go slower if you need to. Just find your balance. We're gonna hold it with our right foot down in four. Right foot will stay down in three. One more to the left. Next time your right foot is forward, pause. So now careful, upright your spine, just find yourself in that lunge. Left leg is long, your heel is lifted, your hip is parallel. Maybe take your chest slightly forward. Take your hands, find this prayer position. Push through the heel of the hand, keep the shoulders down. And then big inhale, exhale, let's twist your right without knocking the left hip anywhere. And then find the center. So keeping the hands center of the chest, really push through the heel of the hands. Get the shoulders to activate. Get your lat muscles to activate. And we're only twisting as much as we can keep our hands center of the chest. Good, and we're breathing, we're here three. We're not gonna come out of this, we're gonna come to stand in two. Good, one more, twist over to the right. Find your balance, here we are. Lift that left leg up. So now you're just standing with that left leg up. Squeeze your right cheek, get a little taller. And then exhale, twist to the left. And breathe. Good, exhale, twist. So just waking up the waistline again. Shoulders down and back. We go right into those alternating lunges again. In four. You're gonna oop, step that left leg down, find your balance. Go three. Good, breathe, go two. One more big twist. Step the foot down, go right back into it. Right back into it, just alternating the lunges. Again, taking your time. 
This time it's gonna be the left foot that stays quiet. In five. Left foot will stay down, right leg goes back. In four. Keep your knees nice and quiet, keep your chest open. Go for three. Good, go for two. One more to the right. Pause with your left leg forward, right leg back. Upright your spine, hands come in front of you. Squeeze that right cheek, make that leg longer. Your heel is lifted and you're in parallel. Lean forward, put a little more weight into that left glute. Exhale, twist over to the left and center. Twist and center. And notice that your right hip is not changing. You're putting a little more pressure through your big middle toe of that left foot to keep that knee nice and quiet. Tracking forward, let's go four. Maybe take your chest forward a little more, a little more weight in that left glute. Last three. Good, last two. One more, find center. Ooh, big step up. Good, now upright your spine. Draw your tummy in. Exhale just to the right and center. So really use your left inner thigh right now, keeping the hip nice and stable. We breathe. Let's go for four. Good, we step down. Find ourselves in a plank in three. Good, big twist, ring it out. Let's go two. Exhale, last one here, last one. Twist, find center, reach your arms up. And then inhale, exhale, roll it down. Step yourself back, find yourself in that plank position. I'm gonna squeeze my heels together, toes apart. Totally fine to come onto those forearms if you need to, or onto the knees. Otherwise, here we are. Hands are right underneath the shoulders. Stomach is in. I'm gonna separate my feet just a little bit. Float my left leg up. Make sure my hips are still stacked and square. I'm gonna glide back on my right heel and glide forward. Just for five, like this. It's your leg pull. Your stomach is in. Your chest is lifted. Your eyes are down. Let's go three. You can always keep both feet down if you need to. Two. Good, nice and strong. Last one, find center. Right foot, pick her up, make sure your hips are square. And then gliding forward and back. You're nice and broad in your upper body. Your tummy is climbing inwards and upwards. Let's go three. Good, let's go two. Step the foot down, now squeeze the heels together. Use those inner thighs, use your seat. Glide it forward and back. Good, just for five. Keep the neck long. Keep the shoulders down, go three. Good, we pick it up in two. Last one, hold it slightly back. Now chin to chest, round through the upper back first. Bend the middle back, let's keep the hips quiet. Walk back, three, two. Find that long line. Now as we roll up, we're gonna reach the arms forward and hop, I'll step forward here. Your heels are still together, yes? Your stomach is in, last little warm up here. Shoulders down and back. Let's lift the heels, press the arms back. Lower the heels, reach the arms forward. So just letting your arms be your counterbalance. Good, last little bit of our warm up. Our stomach is in. And really wake up through the seat. Wake up through the seat. And I want you to really squeeze the inner thighs together as opposed to squeezing the knees. So as we're doing this, we're using all 10 toes. My calves have been so sore the past couple days. So try to really use your glutes as opposed to just your calves to climb up. And as those arms go forward, fight to keep the chest back. So really use your stomach here, suck it in even more. Let's just go for three. Good, all 10 toes have a purpose here. Let's go two. Last one, we're gonna hold it here. Roll the shoulders down and back. See if you can lift your heels a little higher. Find something to focus on. Just the arms are gonna lift. Draw that stomach in, elongate your side body muscles, and then reach those arms down and back. See if you can get a little taller. Good, your neck is long. Your ribs are in. So as you reach those arms up, keep the rib cage in the body. Keep that low back from flaring by pulling your tummy in. Go for three. So you can get a little taller. You're just holding those heels lifted. Squeezing your seat. Go two. One more. Reach those arms up. See if you can get a little taller. And let your arms come forward. Hold it here. Shoulders down and back. Without you leaning. Not at all. 
We're going to bend the knees and then exhale, come to stand, arms back. Arms forward, hips down, squeeze, lift. So again, here we are. You just practiced it. As you extend those knees and straighten the legs, squeeze the inner thighs together, not the knees. So find that nice wrap of your glutes. Let's just go forth. Good, your neck is long. Press your head slightly back so your chest is nice and open. Let's go two. Good, reach. One more, Woo. Okay, last one, hold it halfway. Stay there, your stomach is in. See if you can get your tailbone underneath you a little more. Squeeze those heels, little pulses up and down. Good, you're pulsing from your seat. Yes, your quads are working, but try to really squeeze the heels, go three. Good, arms up in two. Lift up, reach, reach. Get a little taller, stomach in. Just the heels, lift and lift. See if you can get your shoulders down. Get your side body muscles to lengthen. Go four. Good, breathe, go three. Good, go two. Hold it. Lower the heels, circle the arms down and around. Roll your shoulders down and back. Let's walk slightly forward of our mat. I'm gonna step my right foot in front of my left. Forearm over forearm. And here we are, shoulders down, press through the forearms. We're gonna find ourselves in a seated position with control. As you go down, keep reaching the shoulders back. Take your time getting down, and then you're down. Once you guys are down, zip your inner thighs together, and reach your arms forward. Nothing crazy here, we're just really gonna take our time to get down. Sweep the fingertips together, zip the inner thighs together. Shoulders down, chest is open. Roll it back, take your time. When you feel like you want to speed up, slow down. Really use your belly as a brake system right now. Find that nice articulation in your spine. And down we go. Once we're down, I'm going to scooch forward just so you guys can see a little better. Okay. Reach your arms back. So my arms are almost in this open V position here. Just getting my chest to be open. I'm going to walk my feet in a little closer. Nothing crazy. Just go for a nice spine twist here. Legs go over to the right. That left shoulder stays down. Exhale, squeeze, find center. Legs over to the left and center. So we're just warming up our lateral flexors here. We're going to get into an ab series. So we're just going to stretch these muscles so we can connect with them a little better. Let's go one more. Finding center. Now hold it here. Walk your feet so they're just parallel hip distance. I'm going to take my arms down by my side. Start with your right leg. Float it up. I want to extend it up toward the ceiling. Just flex and point. Flex and point, your right hip is still down. Hold it here, now let's flex that ankle. Let's reach it down and up. Just finding a nice little range of motion in your hip, your stomach is in. You're not popping at your low back. Go three, good, go two. Last one, let's hold it down, bend the knee, lengthen up, flex the ankle. Reach it, bend it, lift it, and flex it. Point it, bend, reach. One more. Nothing crazy. Bend it, place it down, other side. Left leg up, extend it up, do a little flex and point. A little flex and point. Your side body muscles are evenly lengthened. Hold the flex, just lower and lift. So feel the stretch in your hamstring. Keep your stomach in, go free. You have that nice neutral spine, so that sip of air at your low back too. Last one, leg goes down, point the toe, bend the knee, think knee to chest, extend, flex. Bend, extend, and flex. Two more. We go both legs next. Last one. And down we go. Both legs up to tabletop, hold it here. Both legs lengthen, flex, stomach and arms down. Reach those legs down to your challenge point. Bend the knees in and lift. Reach them down, don't let that low back arch here. So go as low or as high as you need. Two more. Just finding length in your legs. One more, reverse it. Lift it, bend it, stretch it, and lift. So ideally my toes would go onto my mat, but my toes get stuck on my mat, so it's not slippery enough. But the lower you can go, obviously, the more challenging. One more. Last one, I'm gonna plant my feet down and hold them down. So my legs are together. 
I'm gonna reach my arms up towards the ceiling, interlace my fingers, really interlace the fingers here, creating a little basket. Take the hands back behind the head, elbows are nice and wide. And here we are, getting into our abdominals a little more. Big inhale, exhale, lift and hold, first one. So head is heavy into the hands. Let your basket, which is your hands, really support your head. So you're not lifting with your neck, you're lifting with your abdominals. So see if you can curl up a little higher. Untuck your tail. If you have pressure in your feet, just kind of let your feet be. Let your tailbone lengthen through the legs. And then inhale, take it down. Couple more like this. We're keeping the elbows nice and wide. And we have this nice vantage point. We can look at our stomach. We can see it flatten. We can double check that we're not tucking our tail. That pubic bone isn't lifting up at all. If anything, we're pressing our tailbone heavier. Good, and we're breathing. Let's go three. We add on in two. You can always keep your head, neck, and shoulders down for the next bit. Last one, hang up here. So now legs are squeezed together. You're gonna float them up and down. So really hinging from the hip. The shape of the knee never changes. Your tailbone is nice and heavy. And it's like you're pulling your stomach away from your thighs as you lift those legs up. Your upper back is not changing at all. So as those knees come in, keep that upper back lifted. See if you can even lift up a little higher. Go three. Good, go two. Last one, I'm gonna lower my feet to the mat. Take my upper body down. I combine the two now. Take a big inhale. Exhale, lift, hold the lift, float the legs up. Lower down, head, neck, and shoulders go down. Exhale, lift and lift. And if you want to, if you want to make this a little more, you can always float both up at the same time. But I'm going to preserve my energy here because we've still got a little more. Let's go three. Exhale, lift. Legs lift. Legs down. Chest down. Two more. My abdominal wall is starting to fire up a lot. <laughs> One more. And lower down. Now lower the chest down. Take a stretch. Elbows are still wide. Big inhale here on that exhale, lift and hold. Now once you're there, float those legs up and they're gonna stay up. See if you can lift up a little higher. I'm gonna twist over to my right. My right shoulder is off, my left elbow is wide. Stay lifted, find center. Stay lifted, twist left. Good, stay lifted, center, twist right. So it may seem like it's not that big of a range of motion because it's really not, but you staying lifted is you keeping your abdominals totally engaged. Let's go for four. Good, lift and twist. Center, one more to the right. And center, one more to the left. And center, pause. Take the hands back behind the hamstrings. Give yourself a second. Stomach is in. See if you can lift up a little higher. Once you're there, maybe pull those knees in a little more. We're going to take the hands back behind the head and pause. Twist over to the right and hold. Now keep your legs centered, but keep the upper body twisted. Tap the feet down. Exhale, lift. So you're getting a little bit more through that oblique because you're twisted over to the right. Let's go for four. Oh, let's go for three. Try to lift your chest a little more. Go two. Hold it center. Lift. Oh, God, I got to take a second here. Okay. Stomach in. We go right over to the left. Yes, we do. Hands back behind the head. Twist to the left. Elbows wide. Both legs tap and lift. Tap and lift. Just six. Good. Use that exhale to lift. We've got four. Good, tailbone heavy. Three, two, last one, hold it. Find center, now pause. Grand finale here, your stomach is in. How we started is how we're gonna finish. Hands come back, knees in, legs up, lower down, bend the knees, extend. The lower the legs, the more this is challenging. As those legs go down, lift your chest a little higher. One more this direction because I'm dying. Lift, last one, bend. Then extend, lift up, bend. Extend, lift up. Two more, breathe. Good, reach. Last one, let your feet find the floor, lift up a little higher. Extend the legs, extend your arms. We roll up from here, big inhale. Exhale, roll up. Oh, that one was hard for me. Reach, I'm gonna scooch forward a little bit. Lift your chest away from your thighs. Shoulders down and back, stomach in. 
Now reach your toes forward, reach your fingertips forward as you roll down. Roll down, take your time, take your time. Stretch those arms back, oh goodness. Okay, stomach in, ribs in. I'm gonna take my arms forward, let my gaze go forward. And roll up. Don't let me stop you. If you guys wanna make this a little more challenging, lift the arms and keep the arms by the ears the entire time, that's completely fine. I don't feel like doing that, I'm real tired. <laughs> arms go forward, take your chest up. Exhale, squeeze and lift. Pull your abdominals in. Feel how much you've already warmed them up. So really feel strong right now. Feel super strong in your midsection. Taking your time. And again, same deal. When you feel like speeding up, try to slow down. Try to really slow down. Go with control. I know every instructor teaches differently. I'm a slow mover. I like to move a little slower, really find my muscles and concentrate on what I'm focusing on working. Let's go two more like this, two more. Stretch your back. Stretch your back as you reach the fingertips forward and then reach the arms back. Ribs in, shoulders down. Good, find length, feel the length in your toes and the fingertips. Good, one more like this, one more. Just let the shoulders slide down, squeeze your butt. Last one. Reach, exhale, lift. Okay, last one, we're gonna find that stretch. We're gonna roll back to where it feels challenging. So what is challenging? I want you to find the spot where it feels like your feet wanna lift up. So really plant the heels heavy, pull the stomach in. Now if you feel like you're sinking in your low back, lengthen it a little more and scoop your abdominals in a little more. Now pretend like you have a yoga block in your hands. You're gonna twist over to the right. Don't lose your block. Keep your shoulders level. Exhale, squeeze, find center. Inhale, over to the left. And exhale, center. So now as we're twisting, our feet and our hips aren't moving. And let's see if we can keep our side body muscles evenly lengthened right now. So we're not shortening the distance. We're keeping it nice and even. One more over to the left. Hold it there. Finding center, one more over to the right. Now hold it here. Little pulses on that diagonal, on that diagonal. So your left hip is just as heavy as your right. You're squeezing your inner thighs together. Squeeze your butt, get out of your hip flexors. Let's go three. Good, shoulders down, head is on top of the spine. You're not pushing your head forward. Two, hold it here on that diagonal. Lift and lower. This is where you'll feel, if your feet are floating up right now, maybe lift up a little more. Good, otherwise stay down. Let's go three. Good, head is on top of the body, too. Good, one more, let's hold those arms up. Twist over to the left. Arms come forward, little pulses. Just lift and lift, your shoulders are down. Head is in line with the spine, we've got four. Good, we breathe, we've got three. Good, neck is long, we've got two. Hold it, arms up. Find center, ah, see your feet wanna pop up. Press your head back, just the arms. Lift and lower. Stomach is in, ribs are in, let's go three. Good, squeeze, let's go two. Hold your arms up where you can. With control, keep pushing away as you roll this down all the way. Your arms are gonna come down by your side now. Let's take our feet, let them be a little closer into our seat. So we're gonna warm up our feet now. Arms are down by our side. First three, I just want you to find your feet nice and parallel. Walk them in a little closer. We're preparing for our bridge. Shoulders down, and here we go. On that inhale, just prepare. And then on the exhale, find that little tuck of the tail. Let your low back find a little pressure into the mat, and then press through those heels. First one, I like to just kind of wedge my shoulders down a little bit. Get my fingertips to be a little heavier. Get my triceps to be a little more active. My gaze is up towards the ceiling, so avoid looking for your inner thighs. Now try to keep your hips up there as you roll through your upper back. I'm keeping my hips up as long as I can as I roll through my middle back, my low back, my tailbone, and then everything settles. Kind of give it a flick forward, get that stretch, and then scoop it back. Roll up, big squeeze. Press through those arms, chest is open. Stomach is in, even pressure through both heels. And then roll it down, roll it down, roll it down. 
Last one, we're gonna hold it up at the top and then pause. Last one, stomach in, roll it up. Now let's pause here on this next one. Okay, so our hips are up. From here, we heel toe the feet out. So go as wide as you would like. Let's see when our feet are wider, you can get a little more extension through the hips. Walk the feet back in and try to keep those hips exactly where they are. Try to keep the pelvis nice and level as you heel toe the feet out. So now we're firing up through our glute medius, our side butt muscles. That's what gives our butt volume. If we're gonna do anything during this quarantine, we're gonna build some butts, right? Yes. Who doesn't want a nice perky butt? Got more breathing. Couple more. Heel toe in and out, in and out. And if it feels good for you to zip your inner thighs together, do that. If it doesn't feel good, just walk your feet into that parallel position. Let's do one more and we're gonna hold the feet wide. So you have options. You can be in external rotation, meaning your heels slightly in, or you can be in parallel. Just make sure that your hips are nice and wide. Now see if you can extend them up a little more. Make sure your hip bones are level. And then from here, just tap and lift. So stomach is in, do your best to keep both, hip, both hips nice and even. Notice if you're putting a little more pressure into one glute, meaning you're firing up a little more. Let's get even. We're gonna do this three times. Let's go for three. So first set here, let's go two. Last one, we're gonna hold the lips and pause. Make sure your arms are active. Now through the hips, I want you to press the knees open and open and open. So see if you can keep your big toe, middle toe nice and heavy. So we're not working through the ankles. We're really working through the corners of the feet and the hips. Let's see if we can lift up a little higher. Go three, go two, hold it, go back to the taps. We've got two more sets, two more sets. Your arms are active. If you feel like you need to walk your feet in again, they try to escape you, walk them in a little closer. My butt's fired up. Hopefully yours is. I trust it is. You guys are doing great. Let's go four. Good, let's go three. We've got so many distractions. If you've got your dog running around or your kids running around, you're doing great. Last one, hold it. Hips are lifted, little press out and out and out. So imagine the knees are going open, but really think of the hips from the, he the femur head opening and opening for five. Oh, get those hips up a little higher. Stomach in three. Two, last one here, get those hips up, and tap, and lift, tap, and lift. Last set, last five, good. Last three, toes, they have a purpose, all of them, two. Last one, hold it, arms down, chest up, little lifts, or press out, excuse me, little press out, and out, and out, Ooh. five. Stomach in four, three, two, hold it, lift up a little higher, and roll it down. My goodness, my glutes are on. Pull your knees into your chest. Give yourself a little stretch when you roll from side to side. Keep holding on to your knees, please. Just lift up. Okay, you've been here before already. Shoulders are down, stomach is in. We go for our double leg stretch from here. So keep that upper back exactly where it is. Let's extend arms and legs and pause. So now reach the fingertips back behind, squeeze the fingertips together, zip the inner thighs together. Now see if you can lift your upper back a little more. Start just with the arms, open them to that T, then reach them towards the toes. Now pull those knees in, pull them in, pull them in, pull them in, and reach for your ankles. There you go, now that's where your upper back gets to stay. We're gonna go a little quicker. Inhale, reach, just the arms open. Just the arms go forward. Exhale, pull. Reach, open. Circle, forward. And knees, two more. Reach, open. Circle, and pull. One more. Reach, open. Circle, and pull. Last one. Reach, now hold it. Hold it. Lift up, reach towards those toes. Grab that right leg, send that left leg down. Shoulders out of the ears. Trying to really straighten that right leg. Pull it in and switch. Pull, pull and switch. Give yourself that well-deserved hamstring stretch. Good, and our stomach is in. We go for our rollover after this. Let's go just for five. 
Good, neck is long, see if you can climb up a little higher. Go for four, make your legs a little longer here. Let's go three, let's go two. Last one, whatever leg is up there, hold it up there. Take the other leg up, zip them together. Plant your head down, shoulders out of the ears. Big inhale on that exhale, lift up and over. Now hold it here, first one. Lift and extend your back. Your hip bones are pointing straight up towards the ceiling. Separate your legs the distance of your mat. Flex your ankles, push your heels away from you. Now try to tap the mat with your toes. Find that stretch. Now imagine you're dragging your toes along your mat as you roll it down. And then zip the inner thighs together. Let's do two more. Lift, roll over. Separate, flex, toes find the mat. Push your heels away as you roll over. One more, we go for our single leg circle after this. Exhale, roll over, separate, flex. Now hold it here, as we roll down, you're gonna keep your, let's keep the left leg going down and the right leg will come up. So now my left leg is heavy. I'm gonna flex both ankles today. Make your left heel nice and heavy, stomach is in. Start with that foot nice and parallel, that's reaching straight up towards the ceiling. Take it over to the left, make sure your right hip doesn't lift. Circle it down, exhale, lift. Inhale to circle, exhale to lift. Go as slow and as small as you need to to keep your pelvis quiet. Let's go three more this direction. Inhale down, exhale, lift. Go two. One more, pause at the top, hips are quiet. Try to straighten that leg a little more. Take it to the right, circle, exhale, lift. Make your bottom leg a little heavier. Stretch it a little longer. Go three. Go breathe, go two. Last one, hold it, hold it. Now point that toe, lower that leg just a little bit, just to prepare for it. Lift your chest, take your hands back behind the hamstring. We're gonna climb up the leg, climb three, two, one. Now hold it here, we're gonna lift up. Extend that low back with the shoulders out of the ears. This leg stays exactly where she is, you walk down it. Three, two, one, start from scratch. Do it again, shin to chest, lift and curl. Two, one, my right side is so much harder for me. I don't know why, last one. Down, 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 last one here, big inhale. Exhale, lift, two, and one, hold it. Let's take that left hand, reach it for the outside of the ankle. Just open up, give yourself a stretch. Feels nice. And then come back, walk it down. Three, two, arms down, just switch your legs, please. Okay, once you're there. Flex that right heel, flex that left heel. Arms down, we take that left leg over to the right. Inhale, exhale, lift. Inhale, exhale, lift. So go, again, as small as you need to. Control the hips. Imagine those chopsticks flanking your body. You're not shortening the distance on either side. Two, one, hold it here, reverse it. Reverse it, we're breathing. Last bit on our back end, we're up after this, two. And one, hold it, point that toe, chin to chest, curl forward, and up, up, up. Extend your low back, really get up out of it. Open up the chest, walk down. Three, two, one, two more. Keep that left leg exactly where it is as you climb up and down. Last one here, last one here. Let me breathe. Last one, lift, two, one, same deal. Right hand reaches for that left ankle. Open, twist, give yourself that stretch. And then come back, down you go. Lower that leg, we roll up from here, reaching those arms back, give yourself a stretch. Inhale and exhale, roll on up. Okay, for our transition, we're just gonna go for our rolling like a ball, and then we'll pop up onto our hands and our knees. Good, a couple more. Just find that nice little movement in your back. Let's go three. Good, let's go two. Think of popping up to a plank. Last one. And down and back, and we'll come to your knees. Once you guys are on your knees, I'm gonna just come a little center of the mat. Okay, so knees are hip distance and parallel. And again, pretend like you have like a yoga block in between your inner thighs. So stomach is in. Similar to how we started, I want you to think nice, heavy tailbone. Pulling that tummy in, let's reach those arms forward, squeeze the fingertips together. We're not in a back bend. 
So keep your shoulders right over your hips, and then exhale, arms down, chest is open. Inhale, reach. Exhale, press. So you can get a lot out of this, or you can get absolutely nothing. I want you to think length through your spine, elongate through your stomach. So really climb the belly button inwards and upwards, like it's an elevator going straight up towards the ceiling. Big toes are heavy, shins are heavy. So get your hamstrings to turn on. One more, now let's just increase it, reaching the arms up, get a little bigger of a stretch, and then exhale forward. Just for four, but we're gonna get into a little arm work here. And three, so if you have your ball of bands, maybe put them around your wrists right now, or grab some hand weights. Let's go two. Good, one more, hold the arms up. Now tap your seat down, exhale, lift. Tap. And lift. If, you, if this doesn't feel good on your knees, just stay kneeling. That's perfectly valid. But as we extend our hips forward, again, find that heavy tailbone. Without getting into your low back, and as your arms go forward, keep your head on top of your spine. You're not pushing the head forward. Let's go three. A big stretch in your side body muscles. Let's go two. Hold it down and pause. So really reach to the fingertips. I'm gonna let my thumb face up towards the ceiling. My stomach is in, I'm not rounding it. My low back, plug the shoulders into the back and just lift and lift and lift. So your shoulders are sliding down your spine. Your neck is long, pull your tummy in more. Go four, good, go three, two, one, back to full range, reach and lift. Good, we finish with a little tricep work, just four. Arms are gonna stay back, hips will stay low. In three, two, hold it here, reach the arms back. I'm gonna let my palms face away to start. My stomach is in, again, I'm not rounding in my low back, I'm gonna reach the fingertips towards the heels, just lift and lift. Like you're high-fiving the ceiling. High-five the ceiling, get your triceps to fire up. I feel this a lot in my lap muscles, but definitely in my triceps. Thumbs are facing each other. Let's go four. Good, three. And hold it. Your thumbs are facing together. Now try to touch them. Just think in and in and in. Good, four. Stay low, get a little lower if we can. Let's go three. Climb the belly button inwards and upwards, two. Last one, hold it. Reach the arms forward. Come down to the forearm. Okay, so once we're here, let your forearms be right underneath your shoulders. We'll start with your right leg. I want you to send that right leg long. If it feels better to pop up onto your hands, feel free to do that. I just want a little more range of motion in my legs today. So I'm gonna come down to my forearms. Once my forearms are down, weight is even through both forearms. Okay, now let your right hip knock down so that your hips are nice and square. Stomach is in, just lift the leg up. Okay, I'm gonna switch forward slightly for you guys. Just lift the leg up. We're gonna work the inner thigh from here. So I want you to take that right leg, tap it over to the left corner of your mat, and then center. That's it, just over to the left to start. Just to the left and center. And as we're doing this, again, take that body skin. You're not shifting the weight through the forearm. So the weight is staying consistent. And try really hard not to sink over to the left hip. So as you take that right leg across the body to the left, you're not popping your left hip over to the left. Keep it center. Really try not stretching your right side body as you take the leg to the left. Let's go for four. Make your leg longer and really squeeze through the inner thigh. Go for three. Good, lift the chest away from the mat. Go for two. Good, one more. Hold it across the body. Now pause there, lift up. Bend the knee in, now hold it here. Land the leg open. Really use that external rotator. Extend the leg. Reach it. Circle it over to the left. Bend it in. Clam it open. Reach it long. Take it over and across the body. Bend the knee in. Open it out. So keep going. Again, you can go as fast or as slow as you want here. But just take the body scan. Weight is even through the forearms. Stomach is in, chest is lifted, and your eyes are down. Three more. Open, reach, tap it. One more like this, one more. 
reach it, bend it in, open it. Now keep the leg long, just square it off. Square it off. So now top of the foot is parallel to the floor. Flex your ankle, lift your leg a little higher, but double check your stomach is in, you're not arching it, your back. Bend it, think hamstring curl, point the toe, lengthen. So imagine your upper thigh bone, we only have one thigh bone, your thigh bone, it's staying exactly where it is the entire time. Again, you can get nothing out of this or a ton. So really use that resistance of your muscle here and breathe. Go four. Good, breathe, go three. We're just gonna finish with little hamstring curl pulses in two. Hold it, lift the leg a little higher and just lift and lift and lift for four. Chest is lifted, three, two, hold it, extend the leg, come up onto the hands. Your choice, narrow or wide. I'm gonna let my elbows go out to the side, lengthen that leg a little more, stomach in, go down, take that push up, leg goes up and reach, up and reach, just for four. Lead with the chest, keep the head in line with the spine. Two more. Hold it on the next one. Hold it halfway down. Little pulses. Little pulses. Just four. We pop to a plank in three, in two. Last one. Lift. Let your foot find the floor. Take your left leg back. With control, we come down onto our stomach. Go for three. Go for two. And you're down. Okay. Here we are. We'll get into a little back extension and then we'll do that other side. So once we're here, I'm going to let my hands come a little wider than my shoulders. Basic back extension here, nothing crazy. Zip your inner thighs together, really use those inner thighs. Hands are just where they are. You have very light pressure in them. Gaze is down, chest is up, stomach is in. Now on the inhale, lift, lift, lift. Now hold it here. Hands are light, you're using those upper back extensors to lift. Your feet are heavy, those toenails are heavy. And then exhale, reach and lower, reach and lower, reach and lower. Just a couple more like that. I like an inhale to lift, but please just breathe. Do whatever makes sense for you. Whatever makes sense. And down we go. I don't know if there's ever been a more important time to do some back extension. I don't know about you, but my screen time has increased like a thousand percent. And we're just looking at our phones because what the fuck else are we doing right now? Shoulders are down. So let's really open up our chest. One more. Now I'm going to hold it here. I'm sliding my hands forward so I can use my hands to help support my upper body. My shoulders are down. I'm almost feeling like I'm pulling the heel of my hand towards my armpit so I get that stretch in my chest. Now zip your inner thighs together. Again, suction cup the navel up towards your spine. Legs are longer. Without bending the knees, just lift and lower. So I don't have a ton of flexibility in my hips. My legs really don't go up that high. I want you to reach them and lift them. Reach them and lift them. One more. Now let your legs go down. We combine these motions. So I want you to goal post your arms and lift your legs. And then reach your arms forward, let your legs go down. Goal post, lift, reach and lower. Two more. Stomach in. And forward, last one like this. Now hold it here, hold it here. I'm gonna reach my arms forward, open my legs. Then elbows in, zip your inner thighs together, lift a little more. Double check your neck. Your eyes are down, but your chest is up. So use those inner thighs. Go three. Good, breathe, go two. One more, squeeze. And just lift up a little higher, stomach in a little more, and rest it down. Push yourself up and back. Give yourself a nice stretch. I'm just going to face the other way. We're going to do our left leg though now. So I'll face you guys just in case. Okay, so same deal. If you were on your hands, stay on your hands. Otherwise, let's come down to those forms and check the time. Okay, we're good. So forearms are down. And then extend that left leg nice and long. Double check your left hip is rotated down towards the floor. Pop your chest up, make sure that weight is even through the forearms, and then lift that left leg. Again, I'm just on my forearms so I can get a little more extension out of my hip. So make your leg longer, 
Stomach is in, you go across the body, over to the left. Really use your inner thigh to cross over, and then lift up, find center. Just crossing over to the right. So really think of pinching the inner thighs together. And squeeze, reach. Good, so just doubling, double checking our posture here. Our stomach is in, gaze is down. We're not sinking in between the shoulder blades. We're breathing. Our leg is getting longer and longer every single time. Let's go for each. We add on in two. And lift it. One more. We're going to hold the leg up and pause. Now bend the knee in. Double check you haven't rounded at your back. Slam the leg open. Extend it on that diagonal. Rainbow it over to the right. Now your pelvis is quiet. Your hips are stable. You're finding this free motion through the hip socket itself without letting anything else waver. Your chest is lifted. Your stomach is in. You can always pull your stomach in more employees. Always. Shoulders down, stomach in. Always. Let's go three. Open. And reach. Let's go two more. Maybe picking up the pace a little bit. That's okay. Reach. One more full range like that. One more. Open. Lengthen. Now find center for me. Finding center. Again, square yourself off. Flex your ankle. Bend it. Point the toe. Reach it. So into those hamstring curls. Keep that thigh bone as high as you can. Climb the belly button inwards and upwards. Pop the chest away from the floor. We got five. Good. Weight is even through both forearms. Three. Two. One more. We're going to hold it and pause. Heel in. Stomach in. Little pulses. Up and up and up. Four. Three. Two. Hold it. Extend the leg. Pop up onto the hands. Your choice. Again, tricep or chest push-ups. For me, elbows are gonna go wide. I go down, my leg comes with, and up. Down, and up. Four. Good, lead with the chest. Neck is long, two. My left butt cheek is on fire. Now last one, you're gonna hold it halfway. Little pulses, shoulders out of the ears. Let's go four, three, two. Pop it up. Foot finds the floor, hands come down. Now last thing here, gang. Find your feet, squeeze together, extend your neck nice and long. Let's bend that right knee in, let it go long. Left knee in, let it go long. So these nice slow mountain climbers, just four, without your back changing. Let's go three, two, right leg in, hold it in. Squeeze that left knee, exhale, round. And extend, round. And extend. Two more. One more. Hold it. Just windshield wiper that leg. Across and across. Breathe. Three. Two. Center. Lengthen it. Lift your chest. Square yourself off. Left leg in. And round. And center. Round. And center. Three. Good, let's go two, one more, find center, just rainbow across and across. Your hip is moving from side to side, three, two, center, come down, give yourself a stretch. Okay, that was a huge shoulder burner for me. Okay, let's do our side kick kneeling, nothing special, we're just going to do it. We'll do it on one side, then the other side and then we're almost done. Okay, knees hip distance are parallel. Open your arms out to a T. I am so out of breath, my God. Okay, don't hit me. So we're gonna slow it down so I can talk to you. Okay, really extend your hips. Get your tail underneath you. Shoulders down. Keep the arms just in line, or they're not free moving. They're part of your body. You're gonna take that side bend over to the right. Don't change the angle in the arms. And then exhale, center. So imagine you're holding a dowel with your arms right now, and you're not going to change it. Good. Over to the right. And center. Now we're going to go over to the left. As we go over to the left, just let your leg come up. 
I'm gonna scooch down for you guys a little bit. Okay, now extend that right leg long. Lift up like somebody's pulling your fingertips up. Square off your bottom hip. Try to stack your hips and square your pelvis. Take the hand back behind the head. Flex that right ankle. Kick it forward. Sweep it back. Nothing crazy. We're not doing the double kick here. I just want you to feel nice and free moving in the hip. Keep the stomach pulled in. Avoid flaring the ribs. Good, we're breathing. We're going to get out of it the same way we got into it. In four. We'll go right into the other side. In three. Me too. One more. I'm going to hold center and pause. Actually, I'm going to send the leg back. I'm going to get that nice stretch in my hip. Really give it a stretch. And then bring it center. Reach the arm up first. Bend the knee. Big inhale. Exhale. Lift. And center, I'm gonna scooch over. We go right into the other side. Here we are, stomach in. Take that tip over to the right. Let your left leg just lift, and we're there. Take the leg, actually keep the arm up. Leg is long, now lift up a little higher, then take the hand back. Flex your ankle, kick the leg forward, and back. So the hip is just nice and free moving right now. Your leg is on that same line the entire time. Your stomach is in. You're feeling this great big stretch in the front side of the body. Go three. Good. Come two. Hold it back. Give yourself that stretch. Lift the arm up. Bend the knee. Big inhale. Exhale. Lift. And center. Okay. Roll your shoulders down. Let's finish with two more things, gang. So getting our chest nice and open. Let's do our can cam. Hip circles. And then we'll finish with our boomerang. I'm obsessed with boomerang right now, so you're probably gonna do it in every class with me. Okay, <clears throat> forearms come down. You're gonna press your chest up. So my elbows are right underneath my shoulders. It's three. Okay, so here we go. It's three that you do on either side and then you kick the leg. So lift up on your tippy toes. We've done this a few times, so your weight is gonna stay even through the forearms. Don't let it change. Stomach is in. Let's start by going to the right. Legs go to the right, they go to the left, they go to the right. You pause there on that diagonal, lengthen the legs, bend the knees in three times. Left, right, left, extend. Bend it three times. Right, left, right, extend. Bend it, left, right, left. Extend two more. Right, left, right, extend. Last one, we hold the legs long. Two, one, kick. Now hold those legs long. Take the legs up to the ceiling. Now lift your chest. Go to the right. Let your left hip lift with control. Circle the legs down, up and around. Do it again. Over to the left. Circle down. Up and around, couple more here. Go as small or as big with the circles as, feel, as it feels good. Two more, two more. Over to the right, and lift. One more, to the left, and lift. Take the legs down, pop up, give yourself a stretch. Okay, gang, we finished with our boomerang. So I'm gonna cross my right leg over my left. We're gonna do four of them total. We didn't do our teaser today. I don't think anybody's upset about that. That's okay. So we did do our rollover. So think of a rollover and a teaser combined. Once you guys have that, squeeze your inner thighs together. Feel nice and centered on your butt cheeks right now. Kind of move the fleshy parts away if you need to. It's okay to use a little momentum. Here we are. Big inhale. On that exhale, roll back. Take the legs over. Pause on the first one. Change the cross in the legs. Now with control, roll yourself down. Woo! The lift up, hold it here, bend the elbows, interlace those fingers. Now reach your legs forward as you take your chest down. Now hold it here, lift the knuckles up towards the ceiling, give yourself that stretch, stomach pulls away, reach the arms around, do it again, three more, roll over, change the cross, legs come down, lift, elbows bend, hands clasp, Reach forward, reach forward, reach forward, and circle around. See, it's fun. It's fun. You're just rolling on your mat. Rolling on our mat. Lifting, bending, opening, 
and reaching. One more, one more. Down we go, up and over. Change the cross. Last one. Lift up. Now we did it the other day, we're gonna do it again. Keep that lift, bottom leg. It lowers and it lifts. Squeeze your seat, go three. Try to keep that top leg where she is, two. One more, hold it. Switch it, just five of them. Down and up, keep that top leg where it is. My foot is shaking. Let's go three. Let's go two. One more, hold it. Bend the knees. Okay, our transition, we roll like a ball and come to stand. So keep the cross in the legs, just roll and roll. And when you're ready, on the next one, plant the feet down, pop yourself up. Woo, okay, let's finish with a roll down. Feet are parallel hip distance. Stomach is in, reach those arms up, open the chest, roll it down. Maybe bend your knees a little bit. Stretch out those hamstrings. Pedal out the legs, catch your breath. And then find center, roll it on up. I'm gonna let my arms just be. Roll my shoulders down and back. Good job, everybody. Okay, that was fun. Um, I love you all. I hope you guys have a fantastic afternoon, staying safe. I've been drinking so much wine, so I need to stop it with the wine. Um, autumn's up next at 12 o'clock. I love you all. And I can't wait to see your sweaty bodies in the studio soon. Okay, gang, have a great day.